Hello and welcome back to the tiny wee boat. Now we're nearing the end of our renovation journey of this 23 foot wilderness beaver that we bought. However, there's still a lot to do. So enjoy today's episode. <laughs> We are just walking about the DIY shop, trying to get some stuff. After the DIY shop, we made it to the boat. Now that is not our BMW on the left hand side. We did have one of our boat neighbors who was parked up next to us. Um, so you can see we're unloading, getting everything prepared as normal. And it was a beautiful sky. So we tried to catch the sunset for you. So I hope that you enjoy. As we're emptying the boat, the sun is setting. It was such a beautiful colour so we were really happy actually that we managed to catch it on camera. So in the last episode you saw that we were looking to have a boiler on the outside so again we are still testing this we're not 100% sure if this is what it's going to be like towards the end but we just wanted to make everything secure and get it all organized. So this right here is knock on edge trim and I'm about to knock it on the edge so that the bathroom shower room looks finished. This stuff is so great. You literally just bash it on and then it makes the finish really, really beautiful. Like, just look at that. How gorgeous has that made it? I mean, it just makes it look finished, which I really like. Beautiful colours in the sky this evening, as you can see. And don't you think with the lights on inside the boat and the sun setting, the boat just looks so cosy. I just love seeing it this way. Cannot wait until it's in the water and we can see the beautiful sunsets reflecting on the water with this gorgeous boat. I'm so excited. Did you see that face at the end? Oh my goodness. So 
So as you can see, some more late night or late evening work with the head torch on, working on the outside. So a couple of episodes ago we secured the bilge pump but we've actually removed it so that we can put in a sump as well as a bilge pump in this area. As you can tell I'm having a mad half an hour. Now this stuff is great, it's basically like silicone but it's not really and you just slide it behind the unit so that it's all kept waterproof, it's amazing. So here is the unit before and here is the unit afterwards. So we were thinking to use this as a drain for the shower, but there's not enough thread on it. It's not big enough, it's too short. So we're going to use this. We're thinking to use that. <laughs> I'm going to play the tiny wee boat accordion. That's our new theme song, Tiny Wee Boat. Hello, hello. One, one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> We're just testing out the drainage here to see if it fits, if it works and trying to work out the best place to put the pipe. So Victor's just drilling a hole into the floor of the bathroom so that we can check out the drainage um, and you can see he's also trying to explain to me what he's doing. Pull it off guard, mm -hmm. put it in here, yeah? Why? So that will keep me in the centre. I didn't think that was very good advice there because it wasn't kept in the centre, but anyway. Henry has had an extension as you can see, so we're just hoovering out all that dust and sawdust that would have fallen down there. Victor's just making some adjustments to the sump that we are putting under the flooring. You can see he's doing a lot of testing, trying out, seeing what's working, seeing what's not. And this is kind of what we've done the whole journey on renovating this boat.
he seems happy enough so you can see that he's actually attaching the bilge pump back onto the floor and also sticking this sump down. Victor is just preparing the flooring of the wet room. You can see that he's put things in the corner, that's bits of rubber, so that we can keep it watertight. He's just measuring out the lionel to make sure that it's going to fit and you can see the dog is having a great time. As you can see we are working on the shower so right now Victor's just putting in the vinyl is it? The lionel for the bottom of the floor so that we can keep it all watertight and wonderful um, so we'll show you the finished results probably not gonna be in this episode um, but yeah. So just cutting this lionel to size and then we're going to test it on the floor of the shower room. Now this is fully rubberized, completely waterproof and it has been designed specifically for sort of bathrooms, showers, that type of thing. So we're using this trusty heat gun that you've seen a few times now just to make sure that it is really going into place and is really secured. So we've glued it down and we want to put the weights on top so that it sticks and it stays. Here's me shaking the glue. Inspector dog has had too much inspection. So he's tired. Well that's us from the Tiny Wee Boat tonight. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed and can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!
My name's Hannah. This is Victor. That's our van. And this is our boat. So, tiny wee boat. Tiny wee boat. Tiny wee boat.